tracks of this first animal are easy and that they are two-legged but it is not crossing the road to get to the other side the stamps we are using consist of the right leg and the left leg so the tracks are well represented an additional hint almost all of them have white heads after three years of a Tracks can be more accurately shown by using a piece of plastic. We stamp two rear feet stamps together, one on the plastic, and one on the paper. We stamp two front feet together, one on the plastic and one on the paper. Then turn the plastic over after it dries and you have right and left front feet and rear feet. This more accurately portrays the animal. We won't do this for all of them, but we thought I'd show it for one of them. In this case, a streak between the rear feet would represent the tail. Additional hints, often this animal moving along the ground have tracks represented with J and reverse J marks. And with a line for the tail as shown. Larger ones of these animals can go 50 miles an hour. They can leap 25 feet and leap 10 feet high. This grassland animal has four paws, and two of them are called four paws. Usually, when running, the hind paws will land ahead of the four paws or front paws that are pushing off. The young ones when running will have their hind paws land close to their front paws. The older ones have their hind paws fall behind the front paws. These four-footed animals, or we could say hoofed animals, are like snowflakes in that no two have the same skin and hair color pattern. They have feet that are odd toed, only one toe called the hoof. Actually there are two other toes that are not visible. Next are the ocean animal tracks. The hind feet are webbed for swimming. The forefeet toes are short and help in eating and breaking shells, sometimes with a rock. The end you pack say these large animals are left-handed, so if they come after you, you duck to the right. I'm not sure what to do after that. Just like large amounts of beta carotene will give humans a strange tan, a lot of beta carotene will give a pink hue to these animals. Care as to which is the right foot and which is the left, although only one may be sufficient for identifying it. These ocean animals will use their flippers and head as a form of sign language to talk with each other and will use very distinctive vocal calls. I have made tracks of this 
desert animal. R for right, H for hind, L for left, F for front. What is a straddle? If you can straddle the fence, not can't, but can straddle the fence with one leg on one side and the other on the other side, the distance between your feet would be called the straddle. So when you walk, the outside distance between the line where your left foot hits the ground to an outside line where the right foot hits the ground is the straddle. In this case, the distance between these would be the straddle. The wider the straddle, the distance, the larger the animal would be. What is the stride? The stride, when we walk, is the distance between two left foot tracks or two right foot tracks. A long-legged sailor and his long-legged wife could have long strides. Also, when running, people have longer strides. The stride for the quadrupedal animal here could be measured between two tracks of the same foot, such as two RH, right hind feet tracks. Bipedal, meaning two feet, is a type of walking, running, or hopping on two feet, or on the two hind feet. Here is an example of this animal running bipedally on two hind feet. If we add the front feet, it represents this animal running with quadrupedal movement. Quadruped means four feet. There are four toes on the front feet and five toes on the hind feet for this animal and all the toes leave a track. Most cats, this animal is not a cat, most cats have five toes on the front paws but one toe doesn't leave a track and most cats have four toes on the hind paws. Again, this one has four toes on the front and five toes on the hind feet. Hint, I can add lines representing parts of this animal that sometimes drag along the ground. Each foot has two toes. The long toe has a claw and can be deadly. They may camouflage themselves by laying their head and neck on the ground with their body looking like a bump on the ground. But they do not bury their head. When running, their stride can be 10 to 15 feet. Each front foot actually has five toes with claws, and each rear foot has four toes with claws. Oh, sometimes this animal is bipedal, but usually it is quadrupedal, and it can walk using the knuckles of the front hands, and they can swing from trees. These animals like to eat bamboo 12 hours a day and are very good at climbing trees and swimming. That face, that cover bear face. Color differences between the male and females of this animal are strikingly different, making them color dimorphic. Males are mostly bright green where females have very bright red and blue colors.